this week, the fiends watched Avatar 2, The Way of the Water. So I'm going to ask you first, Michael, yeah. in a short little synopsis, what did you think of Avatar 2, Way of the Water? The Way of Water. Um, look, here's the deal, man. Between the two of us, I'm more of the Avatar guy. I know that. We've all known that. I mean, I like Avatar. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah, more yeah. of the Avatar guy. You're, I think you, you even said that. You though. were one of the people that were like, you're going to kill yourself because you can never go to Pandora. That was you at one point. Is what I saw I'm a therapist. I'm yeah, out of that. I'm insane. out of that zone now. You were yes. more that that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was still ready. like it. Oh no, for come sure. Okay. I was just saying I'm more of the net. Yeah, Avatar just guy. don't come at me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just don't come at but me. But anyway, I will say that uh, overall, I did like this movie. I did. I did like it. I love the first one. So okay. it's, it steps down from it. There, there's definitely a pacing issue. There's some like. I don't know. It's not, I don't want to say amateur dialogue. There's just some things in it where you're like, all right, like this is not need to be in here. It was supposed to be three and a half hours. They cut it down to 312. I think you could have cut it down to two and a half, to be honest. But anyway, visuals, fantastic. I think it's a great leap from the first one visually. And this is just from watching it at home. So uh, I will say overall, Mikey, I did like the movie. Okay. So Mikey, what did you think of the way of water? Water. Uh... I'm not calling this a bad movie by any means of, of you know, the, the imagination, okay? Did I like it? It saved itself. That's the only, it saved itself. Uh, first act, eh. Second act, cut it out. <laughs> cut it all out. Cut it out with the kids. Cut it out, okay? The last hour saved this movie for me because it was what James Cameron does best action cinematic experience and that's what the last hour was so it saved itself story wise character wise dialogue wise a lot of wises mikey this is amateur shit this is like it looked great i give so much credit to the cgi artist and the people who worked on all the 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 real from real props all the way to every computer little fucking leaf you see I give them credit. Yeah. But, dude, that's the focus of the film. The focus is, oh, how good it looks. After 10 minutes, okay, I get it. <laughs> it looks fine. It looks great. It, it Fine. It looks good. But you need a story. Yeah. There's no story here. It's people hate on Avatar 1 because the story was simple, right? Mm -hmm. This story is even simpler. Yeah. We cannot let you bring your war here. Outcast. That's all they see. I see you. It just didn't do it for me. There's no magic in this one. That's the key word for me is there's no magic in this one. I agree with you on the magic. Yeah, there's just no magic, man. So, I mean, I guess, like, I liked it because of the last hour that mm. James Cameron, oh, my God, he knows how to do action, suspense. He did teach. He did some of the greatest action movies of all time. So sure. we know that. If the but dude, I'm telling you, and this fucking clock was at two hours. I'm going. This movie sucks. <laughs> Not from a technical as aspect, just yeah. as a movie, right? Yeah. Like as entertainment, it just sucked until the last hour where it just redeemed itself. And went, so that's what I'm going to say about it. One of the best third acts I've seen in a while. Yes, absolutely. Especially when it, in this kind of genre. Yes, for sure. Not, what's what's yeah. the genre? Ugh. Blockbuster. That's what yeah, the genre no, that's is. True. That's true. That's true. It's blockbuster. It's one of the most blockbuster blockbusters of all time. That's it. It's same with the first one though. Like, but he knows what he's. He knows that. So he thirteen <laughs> years, and this is what you put out. <laughs> that's why. Look, I, w w guys. Obviously, we we know we're not. You know, this isn't fresh. It came out in theaters, but it just came out on. Uh, so a lot more people are going to see it now because it came sure. out on iTunes. Absolutely. So we're not saying anything new. No. Like, I saw that it was getting like oh like. Decent upper 70s scores. 75 critics, like a 95, 92 audience. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. So the audience oh. loved it. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Critics were like, yeah. But, like, I was expecting to just be floored. Really? If you're going to be waiting 13 years to do it, and okay. I'm such a fan of the first one, yeah. that I was let down even just hearing, like, oh, decent, you know, above mediocre. I'm like, oh, okay, mm. all right. But, again... 
the first to me is so good yeah. that I didn't think that this was going to be better. No. But I thought it'd be on the same. You're right about you. You said it before, and I don't even think I thought of the word magic all weekend. Yeah. You're right. It is lacking the magic that magic. I feel every time I watch the first one. No question. So Nate, I'm with you. And it's like you think of the first one, and it's even hard when you're thinking about the first one of like, okay, what? Think of like a scene that really like stands out and that you remember, and not many come to mind. It's more of everything put together as an experience. Mm -hmm. And this one, it's even worse. It's like I can put together the last hour as like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to want to watch that that part again. Sure. But there's no moments or scenes that stand out, even from the first one. It's more of like the experience of seeing Avatar from start to finish mm. was such a thing back then mm -hmm. to where I'm like, try, I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, like, there aren't many scenes that I'm like, oh, dude, I can't wait for the moment when blank. I can't wait for the moment when blank. It's more about like absorbing the world of Pandora and just kind of getting to know the characters. If they're simple, whatever, you can argue sure. either way. But that's kind of what Avatar is more about. It's not mm. so much about moments. It's more about the experience of just like experiencing the world, right. basically. Well, that's a good point because the first one, like when I left all, and I'm sure you did too, but like when I left, I'm going, yo, this world that has been created, I haven't, see, like I've never seen this before. Exactly. Visually, but like in the story, you're like, wow, what a great job on the writers and James Cameron to build this world. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. For sure. But it, you're right, the visuals do play a huge part of that, and yeah. you're just like, I've never seen this. This is this is something new. So the fact that this is basically like, it's almost copy-paste from the first one. It is. A lot of the beats, too, and we'll get into that later, but... The beats are. The I'm like, wait a second, so let me get this straight. You just did the same setup, Yep. and you actually had characters do the same things. Yep. Like, why not be super innovative? They took, I, I don't want to interrupt you. No, no, go, go. They took the two most important elements of a movie, characters and story, and put them on the back burner. Mm -hmm. They did. Yeah. They did. And the first one actually took the time to be like, okay, let's introduce Jake Sully, even though he's kind of cardboard, but you, you, they still introduce him and you know him. Sure. And then with the Navi, you learn Sir and Navi, and you're like, okay, yeah, I remember, the, okay, the brother, and now her, okay, yeah, like, they did the minimal to get by to where you can't really complain. It's simple, sure. but it's not bad. Right. This one, they threw all of that away. They're like, mm -hmm. we're going to get by. People know Jake, right? So, oh, introduce his kids. Generic kids. Dude, the fucking kids are the most cardboard, thin, cut-out characters I've ever seen. And they spend an hour of the movie, when they get to the sea people, just in the ocean, swimming around when that time could have been used to develop the fucking characters so that when that last hour comes, I'm feeling something. I felt nothing in the last hour. Yeah. I didn't feel something when they're, the kids are in peril. I wasn't feeling anything. I was like, oh, what's this act? Like, I'm more interested in the action rather than the emotion that the action is used to build on. Right. So they put story and character and threw them away. Yeah. And then focused on the technical and the action and the, the visual effects. And for me, it doesn't do it. Mm. It doesn't do it. So I might might be in the minority. I might be coming off a little hard. You know what yeah. I mean? A little out of uh, avatar-ish, you know what I'm saying? But that's just how I felt, and it's how I feel. No, I mean, there's nothing you can do. That's how you feel, Mikey. That's how so, I feel. I, want, I it, wanted to love it. Sure. I and literally I wanted to, too. Yes, I, I did want to love it. I wanted to love it, but you're right. There is a point. I grew very tired of the underwater scenes because we got enough of it, and then they just kept piling it on with more. And I'm like, guys... I already said 45 minutes ago, this looks great. Yeah. Like my brain was like, dude, they they nailed the underwater. Yep. Why are we going back? And not even things to drive the plot. No, nothing. Exploring. I'm like, and, But not even character either. No, no, character no, no, no. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, they're underwater. And it's like, no, you introduce a new species of, uh, uh, what Navi? are they called? Yeah, Navi. Yeah. And then they're kind of teaching them their ways. Same, same way. One. Yeah, I was going to say, same way as number one. Um but you're not using it in any way to like attach us to these. It's like a teenage romance thing. Mm. Like that's the second act of this movie is just garbage. Just cut right. that out, man. Make that 10 minutes and that's it because it doesn't build or give us anything on these fucking blue characters. Yeah. And after a while, bro, I'm like, I'm watching a video game. That's how mm. I felt. I'm like, I'm watching a video game because some shots that mostly close-ups look amazing. Oh, so good. Other times... 
it looks like a video game. Yeah, I had that feeling in number one, too. Obviously, that was of course, 14 years but, ago, but I feel you, though. Because every artist doesn't work on every shot. Right. So you'll get a team to work on this shot, a team to work on that shot. It's probably fucking 100 teams of visual effects artists. So the close-ups are done by whom, you know? Yeah. Then the far away. And then you, I'm looking at people in the background. I'm like, that's horrible. Yeah, like, no. The, the way they move, the way the siblings are moving right now, it's just... Because they don't need to put the focus on it. Exactly. Because it's in the background. Exactly. But, you get that but it comes off as a video game. Right. And yeah. up close shooting the bow, you're like, yo. Sure. That looks sick. Exactly. But the night a group shot. of 100, you're like, oh. Yeah. But even when there's a group scene. of like 20 of them, when yeah, they first yeah. go in there, it's like you, the, the chief of the new one looks yeah. good. But yeah. then you look to the guy right behind him, and he looks like shit. Yeah. So... It looked like a video game to me, and and there wasn't enough real. They did incorporate some real stuff, like they. I think there was a scene of them cutting, like uh, f- like a they were, uh, folding the leaves. Yeah, she was folding the, the leaves, and I go, oh no, is that that's just real. A, that's just that's a real. real. That has to be. It is because they did a lot of real practical things, and then just mix them with their digital effects. Did you know it was crazy? We talked about it a bunch, and I'm sure the and then we know the internet did the water scene uh, grabbing the yeah, yeah okay, quarter we of the talk, thing. We yeah, talked yeah, yeah. about it, yeah. yeah. But they actually, it's crazy because the, the people are like, no, that's just got to be a real guy's arm grabbing the saddle. It is. And then they painted over it. So it's like, oh, no, that looks like a real guy's arm. It looked so yep. good. We're going to paint over it. Yeah. So it's like you really don't know at the end of the day. I mean, you saw some of the features, so maybe you do. But I could only imagine that there was probably a handful of scenes that were actually real yeah. with no CG. No, I don't think there was one scene that was all real. At all. Oh. So everything. Name me one scene that could be all real. I was thinking the the one you just said. I thought that that was literally real. No, it's only the things are real. Oh, but then the hands and everything CG. The background, what she's sitting on. The, well, no, the, but there's that one shot where you literally just see what she's folding. And no, you don't but even then see they're, them. They're, yeah, then but they, there's they, shit around. Yeah, the, yeah, of course, of course. You okay, can see so. the water through it. You know what I'm saying? It's oh, not. It's yeah, not yeah, just yeah, yeah. the like, okay. The, I'm telling you, there's not one shot that's completely practical in this yeah, entire that's good, movie. That's a good point. Even with the humans, like on the ship, the, their masks are oh, CG. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. And even the so, background for vol- – because they use the volume in this a lot. Sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I just – it's just – I don't know, man. I know we're going to do an audio-only episode, you know, to go into detail in our notes and shit. So mm-hmm. you click the link in the description for that. We're kind of rounding out now. But – um I just was disappointed by it, man, and mm. the last act saved it for me. Because it it will, James Cameron did what he does best, mm. but this is the perfect example of what happens when you give a director just full reign, and he's surrounded by yes men and yes women that are just yes, yes, yeah. There, no one's saying James. You know what? Let's just let's right. cut this back. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe we need to do this. Maybe no. He had full reign to do whatever the fuck he wanted, and it didn't work for me. You can't give a director that much power. And have him make a three hour plus movie mm. that doesn't need to. It just, it, this is what happens when you give a director too much power. Yeah, no, look, I mean, I, like I said, I did like it and I probably will watch it again, but I just know what to expect with the, the, the parts that felt very overly long. Yeah, you were like, bored in on. it. Oh, come no, on. For sure. Okay. I felt, oh, I felt the length. The second I felt, act. Yeah, I, this, I was bored. The second act is boring. Yeah. It's just boring. Nothing, yeah. nothing happens in the second act. Literally nothing happens in the second act. Yeah, it's pretty bare. Nothing happens. They could like literally nothing happens. Yeah, it's, they could cut a lot. It's crazy. I don't know how that this gets, but it's James Cameron. Yeah, final cut. That's it. It's what he wants to do. Right. So, yeah. And it still made two point three billion or whatever. So they oh, did yeah. what, they did what they wanted to do. Yeah, exactly. All right. So you want to give scores? Let's give our scores, man. You got to go first. Okay, I'm gonna give Avatar. See, because, like, I love, I want to give props to the CG artists Mm. and everyone who did all this hard work that took years and years and years. But at the end of the day, it's just a movie. Mm. So it's like, yeah, it's just a movie, guys. James Cameron, take your fucking boner and put it down a little bit, okay? You fucking got a hard on for every, it's just like. Every minute of every Take a fucking breath, dude. Put (laughs) your ego down a little bit. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's just a movie. I'm going to give Avatar a 6.5. Okay. Avatar 2. Yeah. Wow. What are you going to give Avatar 2? I like what you did there. What are you going to give it? What are you going to give it? I'm going to give this movie an overall, I'm going to give it a 7.9. Okay. All right. Not, not, not too high, not too low. I give the first one like a 9.4, dude. I love the first one. Yeah. Back when we were scoring movies in 2009, right? 
Of course. <laughs> right before, then the podcast started two weeks later, dude. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. We have a lot of notes. We are lazy. I don't want to have to edit an hour-long video. No. So that's why we're going to go do audio. Click the link in description. Hit it. So as the Navi say, I see you. Mm. I see you. You got to do the hand, dude. And I, I see you, okay? And we are going to go off to the waterland right now, Mikey. We're going to just go off to the waterland.